Uh, okay, this is not a uh, screencast recording. Uh, I'm not using my software. I'm actually using another camera because um, today uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to, uh, well, basically crack or recover your WEP keys using uh, a program called Bainy. Um, it's actually, um, it's actually like backtrack, but you get the passwords way faster and it also what's good about this program is that you don't have to buy the network uh, Netgear adapter um, that actually backtrack requires um, for this one I'm just using my uh, regular um, laptop with a built-in uh, wireless card in it uh, I'm not using anything else but that so um, I'm gonna give you for this you need two pieces of software uh, one is called Bainy, which is 1.2.1, and Unit Bootin, which is actually free. So, uh, which the uh, links are going to be on the description, just in case you need them. Um, other than that, let's get to it. Uh, for this tutorial, you need those two pieces of software and a uh, at least a, a 256 uh, memory USB stick will work flash drive. I'm using a Memorex. Uh, first off, uh, plug in your, um, as you can see here, uh, that's my Memorex in there. So what you're going to have to do right now is go onto your computer and actually going to format just uh, Memorex. Um, just a quick format cause the uh, USB drive has to be um, empty. So, yeah. So, just as you can see right here, format, okay. Um, this will erase everything on there. So, format completed. And as you can see, it's empty. So, what you're going to do now is open up umbooted.net or whatever it's called. And it's going to look like this. Um, the top part, you can just leave it like that. Now, over here, after you download the uh, Bainy 1.2.1 from the link on the description, you're going to have to go onto this image where it says this image and it's going to be an ISO. So you're going to actually go and search for that um, for that ISO file. Uh, mine's on the desktop so we're just going to go on here. Here's the Bainy right here. Selected and press open. Once you press open, um, make sure you stick your um, USB drive on there. Um, should be in there already. And yeah. Okay, it's not reading it, so we're gonna start this program again. Uh, click yes. Okay, here we go. It's gonna kind of detect it now. Let's see, drive H. That's the one you want. So again, go to disk image. And I still leave it like that. And then you go on here. And you search for it. And desktop. And bing. Open. Um, type is um, USB drive. And make sure that um, your USB drive letter it's the one that matches your USB stick. Uh, for me, it's drive H. For you, it could be drive F, drive E, or anything else. And you can just click OK. And as you can see, over here, it says downloading files, which is going to be... It takes about two to three minutes. But actually, I'm just going to stop this video just for it. Um, as you can see, it's already writing the files. Uh, 10 or 72 so yeah um, so after this I'm just gonna restart my computer after it's done and um, you have to go into your BIOS and select the booting options as you're gonna see right now so I'm just gonna stop this video and then boot up to my uh, BIOS okay so my computer is restarting right now um, as you can see I'm using my laptop um, then we're gonna go to the BIOS setup so, uh, as you can see over here, F9 boot device, so we can press F9. 
Then you scroll down until you see your um, USB drive, um, since the USB, whatever the name is, minus the Memorex. So yeah, you can just click enter on that. And then you have to go down, which says Star Baney, and then press enter. And it's gonna start loading down here. As you can see already, it's loading. Um, uh, yeah, so you're just gonna have to wait. Uh, it usually takes about 10 or 15 seconds for it to load. So, yeah. Okay, so this is what Bini looks like. Uh, you can just um, yeah. So here's my mouse. So here's the uh, toolbar that it has. Okay, so what you want to go want to do is go to the feeding bottle, which is this one right here, and a you click it, and then this one is gonna open. It's just saying that please don't crack another access point. Only test yours. So for this, uh, I'm gonna do it on mine. I'm gonna try to crack mine. Um, see if it works. So click yes. Then you select your card. Um, so if you you can use your internal from your laptop or if you have a wireless card you can use that. Uh, it detects everything on there, so any card will do. Uh just click on that one until this is moderate mode enabled, then click next. And then uh just click right here, scan. You can only crack WEP, so I'll make sure it says WEP. So just click on scan. And down here is gonna start scanning um, all the accounts that are around here. Um, yeah. So find whichever every account that you want or whatever account that you want. Um, for this instance, I'm just gonna choose mine. So I'm just gonna press stop on here, and a list is gonna come up right here. So yeah. Since I'm gonna do mine, I'm gonna select my account and click next. Um, this one you're gonna to want to click on advanced mode and then check this box that says auto run. Okay, first thing you want to do is click on capture, so it's gonna start capturing packets from that account. Here, as you can see, um, it's already some activity on there. But what you want to focus on is the uh, data packets, which is on here. So as you can see, there's nothing. I'm not using it right now. Uh, so there's nothing going out. So we're going to try to try to force it. Okay. So we're going to go up here. This says fake auth by force. So we're going to click that. And you're going to get this window over here. Um, you can just click on access to information. It's going to give you the, the card, the SSID, and the MAC numbers. And after that, you can just click Start. It's going to tell you a message is, um, that's uh, starting. Um, so once it's starting, it's going to be connecting. And once it gets connected, um, yeah, you can just go over here to the other box. And just click on Interactive 0841. Uh, minus two. This one right here. It's gonna bring another one. Another window is gonna read packages and then it's gonna send packages. So we're just gonna have to wait for it um, until it sends packages. Um, as you can see, we already have 18 packets of data on here. So let's see, no packages. Let's see down here. Uh, still reading, so it could take a little bit, of, a little while, um, since there's like no activity on there. Okay, now it's starting to send packets. Here is the packets, and look at the data. And I'm not I'm not actually using my connection, so nobody's on there um, on my network. Um, you you hopefully will want to wait until you get thirty thousand packets of data, 
on here, which is going to be like around 10-20 minutes. Um, it depends how fast the uh, capturing of the packets. But yeah, that's uh, mainly it. And um, as you can, we can try it with 5,000. We just have to wait until that gets to 5,000. Um, but then we can start to crack. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can get it for 10,000 packets. Once you can hit 10,000 packets, you can get the password really quick. Um, but sometimes you have to go away to 200,000. Uh, one time, um, it went to uh, 500,000, believe it or not. Um, it, it took me about an hour or so just to get the, the that many. Um, but um, yeah, that's what I want to do. So... Let's try to uh, crack this code with almost 7,000 packets of data. So, if you're going to start cracking it, just go here, start crack, and then another window is going to pop up down here. So, on this window, you don't have to do anything. This is going to do all the work for you. Um, as you can see over here, tested 155,138, and there's no luck, it says failed next try with 10,000 IP so you have to wait until you get 10,000 data packets um, so yeah, we're gonna just wanna stop the crack click on stop crack and then, as you can see, you already have 10,000 data packets so we're gonna try it again let's see if what, this time we get lucky or not it's analyzing says failed try with 15 so basically that's all you have to do you just have to wait you need patience for this um, so we're gonna stop and then uh, I'm just gonna wait until I get uh, about a good 50,000 just to um, try to get the packets um, and try to get that uh, data so yeah uh, so after I get 30,000 Packets, I'll be back. Okay, so we got about a good uh, 20, around 20, let's see, 19,000. So we're gonna try it again, try to crack it, start crack. The window pops up, and guess what? Key found. So you're gonna have to type in that key without the colons thing, and uh, just type in those numbers. Um, with space um, so yeah after that you can just uh, write it down on a piece of paper and as we found the key um, you can just exit from here so we can actually close this um, close this I'm gonna stop the crack close all the windows you don't actually need them anymore and then just go here log out and then when it's gonna pop up, just shut down. Just wait for it. So it's a killing process. And yeah, just uh, type in that, write it down, type it in onto your computer, and um, you can get your probably free internet, or you can just, yeah, you know, what to do with it. Um, yeah, I'm not responsible if you get caught doing this, as this is if you try to get free internet. Just keep in mind it's illegal, and you uh, can actually get caught. Um, so yeah, I'm not responsible for that. So yeah, um, any more tutorials, just uh, email me or yeah. Alright, see you later guys.